Hello, I'm Jeanette. And I'm Pat. And this is Ecology Matters. It's mid-February, the weather's warming up, it's definitely got spring in the air. There's skylarks out today calling and we're here to do a new survey. It's all very exciting folks, with a few unusual twists as you often find in our videos. When we came a couple of weeks ago, there was one small pond here. It's rained an awful lot since and snowed. We're here doing a newt survey. Well, actually, we're here doing a, a preparation for a newt survey, looking at the site and weighing up how many types of surveys we need to do and what to deploy in terms of uh, equipment. <laughs> Normally, as I said, there's only one pond here. We've now got one large sort of figure of eight shaped pond as a result of all the extra water. It just goes to show in our job sometimes you can't predict too much because things change quite regularly. You might be thinking, hang on a minute, it's February. Why are they doing a newt survey? Well, it's not just about surveying the ponds, it's also about surveying the terrestrial habitat. probably know just as well as we do that amphibians are terrestrial for an awful lot of the year and in fact woodland is a very very important habitat for great crested newts. It's certainly something that they benefit from in terms of sheltering, foraging and securing a living through much of the year when they're not using water bodies. So here we are in another connected piece of woodland to the first one. Quite a different sort of ground floor. This is a very thin uh, strip of woodland here but it does have some depressions in it. You can see one just here on the left hand side. If I just pan round, you can see that one there. And further round where we're just going to go and have a walk to now, we have actually got quite a, an interesting pond over the top of this rise. You can see the hollow then just in front of us and this shallow sort of edge, this draw down edge to the pond. Let's just have a quick look and see what's going on here. So we've got three canary grass and some of the float grass, some of the glyceria around the edge there. Later on this year we'll be doing a eDNA survey or sampling of this water body before deciding whether we need to take any more action as regards surveys. This time of year it's quite difficult to see how much the vegetation might develop in the pond because we're here very early in the year really so the growth hasn't got going at all yet despite the fact that a lot of the, the vegetation around the pond edge looks very bright green <laughs> it's still uh, it's still very early and just before the start really of the growing season so the job today is to put down these artificial refugia it's just corrugated sort of material really which will bed in against the ground and the newts will be able to squeeze underneath and secure themselves and use those refugia potentially. So we might get them coming towards the pond, we might find as they emerge from the pond later on in the year, we're able to find them at that time. But it's another additional sort of uh, technique that we can use, as well as surveying for ponds and, and basically looking around for other sorts of features to see if they're important for newts. Artificial refugia, the ecologist friend. Hey, it's, uh, it's just started raining. We have got all our mats out. We've got all the bits of assessment done. <laughs> Rain, great for the newts. Maybe not so good for ecologists. I'm Pat. I'm Jeanette. We'll see you next time. Bye folks. <laughs>